RXP1039. I just cut off Brandon from Brick and Mortar. Sorry, Brandon. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm very excited to have you guys here again in studio with Brick and Mortar ahead of the show tonight at the Black Sheep. Uh, you guys have been here before, right? Yeah, yeah. a bunch yeah. of times. A bunch of times. Yeah, well, we uh, welcome death. back. Thank it's you. a great place, isn't it? Um, I have never seen you guys there, so I'm very excited. First of all, um, I'm really excited to have you guys here, too. There's still tickets available, so if you want them, 1039rxp.com. Again, in studio here with John and Brandon from Brick and Mortar. Um, so we're going to, before we really dive in, I think we're going to play One Little Pill, which is your newest song. And it's, it's kind of like a special release, isn't it? Can you kind of give a little backstory on it? Yeah, well, you know, everything about our career has been complicated and filled with legal woes. <laughs> so what happened was when we first got dropped back, there was a stipulation. We had to have distribution. We didn't have it. So we had to throw it on a label um, that was owned by our ex-managers. So at the time, we threw it on there, released it, raised money ourselves, promoted it, but it was technically on Morovi Records. Okay. We wanted to get those songs back and have them in our true possession so we could do what we want with them. So we got them back, and in the process of getting them back, we were recording a full-length record, which is now done, <laughs> and we're just figuring out when we're going to release it, but it wasn't ready to put out yet, okay. and we were kind of held up by like all this money we were owed and all these crazy situations. So when Believe Recordings came to us and said, hey, we really, really want to work with you guys, we think that what you do is cool, we're going to let you do whatever you want to do, we're not going to hinder you. Um, and we want to release something, will you guys do a full-length record? And I said, well, I'm not ready to do that yet, but what about, you know, pushing, like, this EP that we just got the rights to internationally because we never had ever done that. We just released it, kind of like, n not like a, a lot of, like, uh, hoopla as far as press and stuff like that. It you know, we huge rollout. It was like yeah, we don't have money. We didn't have money like that. So, really, we pretty much... It as a test with Believe to see what it would be like to kind of have our own distribution and be our own label. So we decided to re-release, drop this, dropped again, remaster all the songs. But then I was thinking, well, you know, this isn't really enough. I was like, what if we take two of the new songs that we're making for the new record, we'll put it on this release, and then we'll just make two new songs, and they won't be on the record, and we'll give it to everybody. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we did. So we put two of the songs we thought were the best from the record, which is actually terrifying, on <laughs> the EP. Okay. And then made two new songs to replace it. I think the record is like 14? Uh, yeah, 14 songs, yeah. I wore 13 songs in like an interlude. Okay. Yes. Um, but, yeah, that's really the story behind it, is that I wanted to give a little bit more, and I wanted people to hear what was coming next. Okay. And those two songs are a good indication of the, you know, the kind of things to expect from the record but also you know we didn't use producers we just did everything ourselves and before bangs we had not used producers and even some of the songs on bangs we didn't use producers but we didn't really know growing wise we were really excited to, to share us just doing what we do with the world and see if they dug it as much as you know what we had done with like "Quote unquote uh, geniuses." It's okay, cool. it's cool. Yeah. This record be too is because we uh, we went with our engineer that engineered our first EP seven years yeah. ago, from Pat Noon, and uh, we we worked with him, and it was just me, Brandon, and Pat in the studio for about like what, like almost a year, over a year, something like that. Um, not really. <laughs> they, they complain and cry all the time, John and Pat. They they get impatient. I have patience forever, but we we took our time. It's not like we were yeah. in the studio for a whole year straight trying to figure it out. But we had to do it in between tours. We had to do it in between other stuff, and we had to do it kind of in between, you know, Pat's schedule because you know we're not millionaires as a band. So, <laughs> and so this is where one little pill came from, right? And you, yeah, uh, yeah the uh, whole this recording has been out for yeah. the last couple months, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This it's song and. Another song that we're just waiting for the music video video to be finished, Great Escape. Okay. That's going to be the next song that we hit radio with. But we're just waiting for this video. It's very cool. But we have a couple legal things we want to make sure aren't illegal. Okay. <laughs> to put okay, in the video. Good. Yep. Always good. Um, so 
I want to play one little pill real quick again in studio with Brick and Mortar, who's at the Black Sheep tonight. If you need tickets, 1039rxp.com. I want to play one little pill real quick, and then we'll come right back after it and talk about the tour a little bit. And then I have some uh, questions for you guys to get to know you guys a little bit. So, again, here's one little pill, Brick and Mortar at the Black Sheep tonight, and uh, we'll come back with them after this. Again, one little pill by Brick and Mortar there on RXP. Brick and Mortar in studio with me right now, ahead of their show coming up, The Black Sheep, tonight. And there's still tickets. So if you want some, 1039rxp.com, where you can get those. Um, so you guys are on tour right now, kind of in support of some of this new music that you're putting out. Justin Lawrence last night. First of all, how was that show? It was good. Yeah. The crowd was pretty rowdy out there. Yeah, it was really, I believe that. It was really fun. I mean, like we're like a cult band, you know? Like, we know we're like... The band that you tell your friends about, and they're like, who? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know depending on where you are. But it's cool because all the shows we have are wild because the kids are just so wild. You yeah. Know? And it's, we have, like, a ridiculous amount of fun on stage. That's so. good. That's good to hear. Lawrence, Kansas, uh, that's where you guys were last night. Special place in my heart. Kind of. Kansas is, because that's where I'm from. But also, Lawrence, Kansas, that's where KU is. And I'm a Kansas State University uh, yeah, graduate, so we're kind of... Right program to not like KU. I love Lawrence, though. Lawrence is an amazing <laughs> town. So, uh, we're just there last night. Drove in today, right? Yep. Um, yep. So, thanks for coming in uh, on the way to the Black Sheep. So, how's the tour in general going so far for you guys? Uh, surprisingly awesome, because we didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Well, you know, like... I can come in here and be like every other man and be like, I think we're the best <laughs> and we're always going to be the most famous. But, you know, we know exactly how big we are and um we also know the challenges that we kind of have and we haven't been able to tour in a while because we've been between releases and all the legal stuff that we always end up dealing with so we were kind of nervous or at least i was about you know what kids are going to show up like because when you're not when you don't tour for a while you don't know like who's going to come out but it's really good to feel all the love and all the support from all of our fans that are really dedicated to what we do so yeah that's that's good. And I think we're going to see that a lot tonight as well. I know that... Um, we're very excited for these Colorado shows. Yeah. yeah. Every time we come here, it's like, our, it's like our home away from home, you know what I mean? We're from Jersey, so it's like we're coming out here. It's just like, it's just awesome. And Plus, you're here at a weird time, too. It's August. It should be actually pretty hot, but it's kind of cool out. I'm yeah, really so. nice. glad that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet, yeah, I'm I bet also you're used excited to that. for anybody who wants to come to the show and bring us edibles or other weed. That would be really great. <laughs> <laughs> Again, in studio with Brick and Mortar now um, at the Black John's Sheep giving tonight. Me, giving me eyes. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> at the Black Sheep tonight. So, um, what's next for you guys? We kind of talked about this a little bit before playing One Little Pill. Um, uh, talking about new. New album on the way. What else is next for you guys? What's your main focus after this tour? After this tour, basically promote the new song, Great Escape, you know, after, see how that does at radio, show everybody the music video that we've been trying to make forever. <laughs> it's almost done. And yeah, really just focus on figuring out what we're going to do for this record, like how we're going to release it, when we're going to release it. Like that's really our focus after we get back is just that and I really really want to make a bunch of music videos that really impact but I want to I want to try to do one for every song if I can but I don't every know if I'll song. be able to wow. yeah we did it with the last EP so but if there I can was pull it off, how many songs on that there were one? seven seven so you got double double the songs so once you do seven <laughs> though you're like that's easy I did seven yeah it's like <laughs> we'll do seven more yeah that's it's true. like not that not yeah. as crazy as it seems but well, good luck with that. Yeah, um, that's what I, I wish like you too. all the luck. If I do see f what, how many 14 music videos come out, then, you know, I'll, I'll clap for you. <laughs> I'll clap for myself. <laughs> I'll be very I get excited it done. for you. Yeah. Um, so, again, in studio with Brick and Mortar now. Real quick before we get into some of these rapid fire questions, learn a little bit about you guys. Um, for those who haven't seen you live tonight, what, or before, I guess, if you want them to come out tonight, what can you tell them about your shows? Crazy, um, wild. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> we're unapologetically ourselves, and, uh, we kind of just let, let the, let that freak flag fly, you know what I'm saying? Expect the unexpected, 
Expect a bunch of costumes. Expect cool, crazy, really a crazy stage show. Like it's more of a cartoon party than it is a uh, look at me. I'm playing these songs, and okay. it's very yeah. uh, interactive. Cool, awesome. Well, again, at the Black Sheep tonight. Um, still tickets available. 1039rxp.com with brick and mortar. So before I let you guys go, um, again, thanks so much for coming in. Um, I have some rapid fire questions just real quick to just kind of get to know you guys a little bit. Some of them are weird. Some of them are pretty standard. Um, so either one of you that wants to, to go for it. First one, what was your first job? I was, uh, I worked at a, uh, I was a stock boy at a department store, changing light bulbs, cleaning up old ladies when they, to, when they use the bathroom and they're gross. Old ladies are the grossest people who use the bathroom. <laughs> no offense, old ladies, but they're the worst. You've seen some stuff. John's yeah, like, I've seen some stuff. I was a garbage man. <laughs> I've been like every every single job you can like literally imagine I've done. So touring around and, you know, not showering and stuff like that, that's not gross. He's well, like, no, you, old ladies, to- gross. <laughs> 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 well, luckily we, uh, we get to shower every day because we got well, hotels, so that's good. That's like a myth. Uh, oh, is it? It really is a myth. So... People that, bands that say they haven't showered in like a week, that's just a choice. You can find a hotel. You can find a motel for $50. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a $50 dollars shower, though. You can, you can find, well, it's $50 for like everyone in your band. Oh, okay. You know that's, what I mean? Yeah, if you break it down, yeah. Okay. Yeah. it's really like you don't get your own room. You just cram in there, you know, like. Very <laughs> yeah, we have a rotation with the air mattress. One guy gets the air mattress, the other two guys get to bed. Okay. Yeah, it's like a rotation. Well, Game of Thrones was like first like buzz we really really kind of like made fun of you for having the bed and called you a peasant and like acted like we were very important yeah we were all about it at that time now we're just not even fun game anymore it's just regular (laughs) yeah okay next one if you had a warning label what would yours be um mine would definitely be uh caution abrasive Okay. I'm definitely an abrasive person. I'm an honest person, but, you know, usually honesty isn't always nice. Yeah. Warning label. Let me see. Uh, warning. Uh, warning. Don't, uh, don't. 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 Uh, warning. Uh, don't make me mad. I have a serious anger problem. I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. an actual warning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't piss me off. <laughs> All right. Uh, what movie can you quote from start to finish? I wa- there was one year I watched Forrest Gump when I was, like, younger. <laughs> I would ride my bicycle to Krauser's. I would get a little pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream, a little can of Pringles, and go back to my house and watch Forrest Gump every day for one summer when I was, like, That's a long movie, 13. too. It was, like... He's like, this guy just gets me. <laughs> <laughs> the end, though. God, I can't. It's just waterworks, so yeah. I can't watch it that much. Yeah. Crazy. I love, like, horror I haven't, movies. I haven't watched in a while, but there was a time where I, like, could, like, literally, like, uh, you know, recite, like, the first maybe quarter of the movie. <laughs> but I nice. no longer can do that. That's a good one. That's a good one, though. Yeah. All right, so I got one more question. Um, again, in studio with Brick and Mortar right now. One more question, and this is probably the most, uh, takes the most thoughts. Um, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? I would rather fight one horse-sized duck because ducks can't turn around, and I think I could get <laughs> behind it and jump on its back, but, like, a hundred of anything, you know, if you've ever seen uh, Evil Dead, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. a lot of little creatures coming at you, Ooh, that seems, yeah. like, worse. That's a good point. That's you a know? good point. John? Uh, Agreeing or yeah, the other way? Yeah, I guess I would agree because, like, a hundred duck-sized horses, right? Right. That's like, you know, that's like a lot of, so like a lot of, like, kind of semi-big horses, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, horses are big, yeah. right? But I'm saying if they're like this big, it's like plus you can, hundred of them. They're you can not jump. tiny. You that's a good point. Yeah, you can scary. jump on that. And they're fast, too. You know, like, mm-hmm. if you run away, they're going to run after you. And you could jump on that duck, and you could tame it. You but know, but you have, to, is, ki- you you have to kill those little horses. What are you going to do with them? How are you going to stop all those little horses? Yeah. I don't know. You know, that's brutal. That's, that's a brutal <laughs> scene. The, the one thing you could just... Get on its back like Avatar and hope you bond with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the other things, it's like there's just too many. The pack mentality, it's crazy mob rule. The only thing is with the uh, the horse sized duck. Is Horses that bite if you too. Get on on its body and flies away. You know what I mean? You just gotta hold on. That would be 
fun. Not yeah, it would be off. totally fun. Be awesome. I'd wrap, obviously, like, I would just wrap my arms around its neck or just hold on to its really strong feathers because they're obviously more strong than they than they would be as a small duck. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's like, it could definitely hold my weight. So, yeah, so definitely a horse-sized duck. Okay. You ever see duck Two fights, Two votes man? for... Two votes for that one. Yeah. People that just turned on the radio are probably like, "What are they also, talking for any, about?" This, that was a that was a Reddit. Yes. Like, it is. You know. Didn't come from thing. my brain at all. Can it? I want to tell everybody, about everybody who uh, is on Reddit right now. Before it gets taken down, um, you should go to r slash free folk on Reddit because somebody totally leaked the fourth episode of Game of Thrones, which Uh-oh. I just watched in the van. So if you want to watch it. <laughs> Get on it. It's on Reddit. It's illegal. Do it. It's fun. Down now. No way, man. There's like a hundred different. I bet it's down sites. already. Well, no, it's not down on the porn site. That's what they did. They just oh keep putting it on gosh. porn sites That's crazy. because no one checks them. <laughs> yeah. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, again, in studio with Brick and Mortar thank at the you. Black Sheep tonight. Back at the Black Sheep, I should say. And if you need tickets, 1039rxp.com. Guys, thanks again. Thanks so much. Southside. RXP 1039. I just cut off Brandon. Yeah, the other way. I guess 